Welcome to the video on installing Kira on Linux. On the article, scroll down to step one and click on the Ultimaker.com website link. On Ultimaker's website, in the top navigation, move your mouse over the software link and select Ultimaker Kira. Then, click the Download for Free button. Under the Linux options, select the Linux.app image, then select a file location and save it. Wait for it to download. Open the folder where you downloaded the Cura app image. Then right click on the file and select Run It. If you don't see the Run option, you might have to do a couple extra steps. Let's do those now. For this process, we're going to need to work in the terminal. So go ahead, open up your search bar, and type terminal, and then load up the terminal. Now type the command su, followed by the enter key. Then when prompted, type your password and press the enter key again. If you're new to Linux, you won't see your password when typing. If you typed in your password correctly, you should now be logged into the terminal with admin access. I presume you have admin access on this computer. If you don't, you'll need some with authority to do this step for you. With the super user logged in, type sudo apt-get install fuse libfuse2 and click enter. When prompted with the capital Y or lowercase n, you can just press enter, which means yes. Please continue. Wait for it to install the packages. After it's done installing, switch over to the folder with the Cura app image file. Right click on the file and select Properties. In the Properties window, select Permissions. Under the Permissions, check Allow Executing File as Program. Close the Properties window. Once again, right click on the Cura app image file and select Run. Wait for Cura to load. Once Cura loads, click the Get Started button and agree to the terms. Click Next, then click Skip on the Sign In to Ultimaker website. You should then see the Add Printer screen. 